Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the channel news for April. Uh, it's been quite a while and I didn't actually want to miss this channel news because I've never really missed a channel news so far and we're down to the last five or six days. So, oh sorry about the glare, but that's uh, just from the computer screen. Can't be helped, I suppose. But basically, it's been quite a month and there's been some eventful things and hopefully there's some good stuff coming up for next month. Um, if I could name just a few off the top of my head, I think Skyrim's getting to a sort of a good point where I want it to be, but actually it's, it's nowhere near where I know it can be. Like, um, where I'm trying to get with Skyrim VR is the point where you're closing in on the, um, closing in on the main storyline, there's lots of dragons in the air, and you're fighting lots of strong creatures, and, and bigger baddies, and all sorts of stuff, like, trying to get to where I was on the PS3 so that we could have fun with that, with lots of summons and maxed out skills, and it's taken a bit longer than I thought, but definitely we're still rolling in on that. Um, I'll come back to the subject of Skyrim VR later. Uh, the next thing I can think of that's pretty eventful is Total War Warhammer, added to the uh, channel lineup this month. Totally new thing. Actually, there's two new things I can talk about. I had to wait till the end of the month, just about, in order to get them out there, but they're there. Um, I'm enjoying, uh, I think it was War Robots, that's pretty fun, getting upgrades on there, playing people online. Since this is an impressive computer, as Skylar pointed out, I'm thinking about trying Mech Assault, if that's still, like, you know, alive online. Other than that, I think it is eventful that uh, Skylar was actually able to join us in Total War Warhammer, so we're going to be doing the um, we're going to be doing the Dwarven storyline. Maybe jumping back and forth between any storylines that uh, Skylar wants to do, and I'll make sure to separate those. I don't know if that's going to pop into the screen cam uh, screenshot, but uh, Bandai Cam, high usage. Yeah, okay. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, I, I kind of got that. Yep, because that's kind of the program that I'm running. No, I don't want to scan for updates. Uh, no. No! Stop interrupting my audience, how rude! Sorry about all that. But, uh, um, basically Windows has decided that it's going to interrupt my recording. But, um, let's see, what other eventful things are there going on? Let's see, uh, War Robots, so that's new to the channel. Uh, Total War Warhammer, that's new to the channel. I'm glad to add Skylar in more Let's Plays. Hopefully he'll be able to maybe come over once a week, uh, do a Dwarven storyline, or do part of the main quest storyline, and eventually, um, every now and again, I'll run little bits and snippets of it myself, but not do too much <laughs> without him, because, like, it goes over my head. Uh, I'm okay with the upgrading stuff, but as you could see in the video, he's a lot better at the actual combat. Um, let's see... New plans for series for the month, like series that are already going on, uh, things that I want to do, one that I know right, uh, right off the bat, off the top of my head, is Robot Arena 2, um, the next part of the tournament, once I finish the middleweights, I believe I'd like the heavyweights to have uh, intros, I want to record their intros in an arena, and have the camera, you, you know how when you do e arena intros, the camera spirals around the robot for a few seconds? If And this is going to take a lot of work, but if I could press record on Bandai Cam, and record one robot's intro, then press record again, stop the recording, switch to the next robot, press record again, and do it for each of the heavyweight robots, and then say, and, and do it in order so I know which one is which, and then name the video file name the name of the robot so that I know that is that robot's name. I can play those back as the opening intro for the Robot Arena 2 videos. And using that, if I can record separately, um, like on by myself, and just say, like just write down a short intro for the bot, like this is emergency, he's got these strengths. I thought, um, team name, bot name, uh, excuse me. Team name, bot name, bot strengths, bot weaknesses. And I, I was going to put in uh, like a pilot, but since this is a CPU tournament, other than when it's me, it's always going to be the CPU if that makes any sense. 
But if I could ever turn this into a LAN party and get real people involved, that would be really cool. Then I could put the actual pilot name. But um, recording that would actually take some time, but it would allow me to put stats to the beginnings of the videos for each of the different robots and their teams and all that good stuff. And I hope the volume is all the way up, because uh, if this blue microphone isn't all the way up, that's going to suck. If I could think of anything else to add to anything else, um, I know when Jurassic World comes out, like the new Jurassic World, the Simulation Park one, me and 10 million other people are going to play it, so you'll see my playlist of the game somewhere down in the do 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 10 million thousand hundred billion jillion YouTubers that are doing it, but I just gotta try it. I mean, it's Jurassic Park, man. It's like simulator. It's like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but with dinosaurs. And I still haven't played Planet Coaster yet. Um, about a month ago. Oh god, I hate that glare. Screw you. Screw you, glare. But uh, about a uh, about a month ago, I think it was Steam told me that um, what was it? Planet Coaster was on sale. Uh, I was so sad I didn't get it. But I am trying to switch to more robot-related games, games with technologies and robots in them. Uh, I've got a few bookmarks. One is called um, One is called Clash of Robots, I believe. It's like a Mortal Kombat-style fighting game with robots, but I don't quite trust it because they look a little bit clanky in the previews. Uh, you know, like, it looks like they can only move in that two-dimensional plane. It's kind of got one robot here, one robot here, and they're sort of, they meet in the middle, and one does a power move, and the other robot, like, falls over. And I don't want it to be like a, you know, uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots was a great little hand game, but, you know, you don't want to make that into a video game, necessarily, unless you make it really good, if any of that makes sense. Um... Ratchet and Clank still going on pretty good. Uh, I'm sad that I watched that review on it and found out about how much they removed from the series. Uh, they actually removed a lot of stuff, replaced a lot of um, like beloved characters that didn't have very many lines or only appeared in one scene. Uh, they kind of like the the person who reviewed it gave it a bad review. Said they chopped it all up and chopped other people out. But to tell you the truth, I I'm still having fun with the game. I mean. The weapons are there, the physics are there, the and it, it's true, they don't they don't actually like create much of a timeline between the relationship between Ratchet and Clank. Like it's sort of like they just met and somehow boom, they're friends automatically. Where in the original game you have this clash where it's kinda like they're hesitant towards each other, then they grow to be a little bit closer, then they grow to be friends, then uh Ratchet goes off on his own and, and does stuff, you know, throws caution to the wind, Clank, um, like, reprimands him for it, Ratchet gets mad, Clank gets mad, and they sort of start to cause a rift, and then, you know, like, a bunch of other stuff happens where they realize, you know, if we don't work together, um, this is going down, planets are getting destroyed by the planet Busta Maximus, but we need to work together, and they, they sort of, they sort of, like, close that rift over time and come back together and the remake sort of misses a lot of that dynamic energy of them you know really interacting with the whole with the whole you know like clash between this is your opinion and this is my opinion and you know we're opposites but opposites work together because we can cover each other's faults you know they sort of missed a lot of that dynamic there and it's it's still a good game though. I like the good recreation of that. Let's see. Um, as far as the new as far as the new uploads for the next month, which will be let's see, this is May. Uh, let's see, April April Fools. So April May. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as May goes, I think that might have to be. Hmm. It might be a little bit difficult to add new stuff to the channel because there's already so much in the lineup, like building up. And I do want to put some good effort into the next uh, Robot Arena 2 video uh, that comes out. It'll be the middleweights. Uh, I, it's, I'm looking at the notes. It's right over here. It'll be the semifinals. Yeah, round two of the preliminaries was just done. It'll be the semifinals. And apparently somebody didn't like the way I cheesed that last battle. Because when my opponent Ripblade 2 got caught in the arena, I sort of waited it out. 
and apparently they didn't like how I cheesed that battle because the video got a dislike. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry I did that, but I just felt like if I came right up to him, he was going to tear me to shreds. Because the second his weapon hit me, he was dealing huge amounts of damage. I'd also like to switch out the spinner on the drum spinner. It's using like this little, like a little bird motor or a little ant motor. And I think that's made for wheels instead of weapons. And I just sort of quick built it in a hurry. So if I could put a little bit bigger motor on that without quite making it a heavyweight, we'll be good. But those are pretty much all the plans for, oh, I missed the biggest thing. <laughs> Which doesn't really matter to somebody that's already subscribed, but I was so proud of it. Um, I took a few videos from the last couple of months, um, some almost from the beginning of the year, and combined them into a brand new channel intro. I named it, first I named it, you know, uh, Russ Robo Channel Intro 2018. Not a very inventive name. But then I gave it some weird, like, um, then I gave it some weird, like, corny name, like, cheers to a great 21-8. You know, I was trying to do, a, like, a high school thing, like how they, uh, how they always come up with a, a, a euthanism for the number of the year, like how um, the graduating year of 08 was like the great 08, and um, I don't think there was one for my year, <laughs> sad face, and I won't tell you what it was, that would reveal my terrible, terrible age, <laughs> but um, it was it was pretty fun, it was pretty fun, I put all that together, and it, it uh, like I used an old song. I had to look it up. Uh, I had to look it up. It was. Uh, it's called the Colonial Boogie March from the U.S. Marines, and it's actually on YouTube. Like, actually part of their um, free-to-play playlists. Uh, the uh, Creative Commons music that you can use in any video. And it was actually it. Writ it went really well. I loved how the music went down whenever a joke was made in the video. And then it went up whenever a you know whenever whenever a keynote hit, and it seemed like it just sort of fit in, and it made me feel like you know I did a really good thing, you know maybe this is working out. But um, that that ad still on Facebook for any new subscribers that actually see that, and you know just know that I put a lot of good effort into splicing that up, making sure it was all good. It wasn't like you know where you can click a button and do an auto movie wizard. Because that mostly just makes a slideshow, and it's it's crap. You know, you got to do it yourself by hand. So, I love experimenting with that sort of stuff. And I think that was the last update for what all happened in April. I'm looking forward to new stuff in March, and I'm try I'm gonna try to get the uh, next channel news update a little bit earlier in the month because I almost missed this one. Um, this is like the 25th, and it needs to come out today. <laughs> so, you know, also live streaming is another thing I've been trying to think about doing. There's a lot of pressure on that, though, because I have no idea how to run a live stream. Uh, when you do a live stream, you kind of want a lot of people to be there. I have no idea what to live stream. I don't know how to turn it on or off. YouTube makes it really easy nowadays, but... And I know I can do it, it's just I don't want to be generic and just pick something and do it. And, you know like spam people with like comment and subscribe you know I want to be creative and, and build something different uh, and I haven't figured out something different yet so so far the channel is like that little black duck that's going the wrong way and not doing things the popular or right way and I'm hoping it sort of brings me into a full loop brings me back around by doing things very uh, unorthodox very unorthodox um, because I'm not going with the whole YouTube hype, like I'm doing it all wrong. But uh, I hope it comes back around full circle and, uh, you know, people see that that's a lot of good effort on my part. I also have to do, whoa, breathe in, a lot of stuff on the uh, Storm Coast Amp Guard channel. Uh, I actually still have to get a video out for them this month. Oh my god, it's been like a month since any uploads have come up on that channel. It's heart running too. I didn't realize. I think I could do it very. I could do it much easier if I didn't have my job. But I need my job for now. <laughs> so that's all the channel news updates for April. Hopefully, looking forward to some good stuff in May. Uh, April, May. Uh, yeah. January, February, March, April, May. April, 
Yeah, April, May. So, um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I hope it answered any questions you have. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know. I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, trust me, I don't get a lot of comments, so it won't get it won't get missed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did and you'd like to see more, there's a subscribe. Uh, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments that you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends. <laughs>